Chinese tech giant Tencent announces personnel reshuffle at Metaverse Unit, dismisses layoff rumors, what's going on? The dawn of 2023 has seen crypto assets break free of suppressive year-long price action, but with many in tech betting big on the Metaverse at the start of 2022, things are getting ugly. In an exclusive report from Chinese news outlet 36KR, it has been revealed that the world's largest video games company Tencent will be partially disbanding its XR, extended reality, department. On February 16, Tencent's general manager sent out redundancy notices via the HR department. The email offered XR team members a redundancy buffer period to seek other internal or external opportunities. With more than 300 employees across nine offices forming the XR department, this could be the biggest metaverse layoff to date. Closures could also impact the Visual Labs team, 80 staff, the Spatial Audio Technology Center, and the Business Decision-Making Committee. Tencent's disastrous metaverse adventure, far from unexpected. This comes following January's news that Tencent had suspended XR department operations. And in the aftermath of Uncle Lee, the soul of Tencent, leaving the company back in November, in what became a huge knock to investor confidence, the short-lived adventure into metaverse tech saw Tencent chasing opportunities in the Chinese domestic market. An initial multi-billion bid to acquire augmented reality, R, headset manufacturer Pico was thwarted by a better bid from rival Byte. Subsequent acquisitions of domestic R technology manufacturers, Ying Chuang and Black Shark also ended in failure. Sources close to 36KR allege that despite all the capital investment, there were almost no employees in the XR department with experience in our hardware development. Ultimately, these are flops and acquisition failures have left Tencent out positioned in the Chinese domestic market. Byte Pico and rival Ichi Kuaiyu have captured more than half of the Chinese domestic metaverse market share. And the Chinese consumer or technology market is increasingly dominated by Rocket and Real. Big tech flounders in metaverse folly? Major players across the West, including Facebook, now Meta, and JP Morgan, took aim at the metaverse in 2022, with significant capital investment from such big names. Many saw the adoption of metaverse technology as inevitable. Yet the metaverse has become more of a folly in recent months. The number of tweets about the metaverse dropped by an average of 1,000 per day during the first six months of 2022. The online conversation shrunk by 80% globally by the end of the year. Data from Improbable also revealed that the metaverse's adoptive user base has struggled to go mainstream. Over 10% of metaverse users in 2022 were U.S. news reporters. An additional 11.7% of total users were simply the Bored Ape Yacht Club, with one-fifth of metaverse users either investigating it for a quick news piece or using it to connect with fellow apes. A picture of an overhyped tech bubble begins to emerge, and this troubled chicken has come home to roost for big tech with the news that Meta's Reality Labs has descended to money pit status, costing an eye-watering $1 billion a month, that's $4.28 billion in Q4 2022 alone, and with CEO Mark Zuckerberg's fortune consequently plunging by $100 billion in just 13 months, it is clear that betting big doesn't always pay off. Read more from Crypto News. Terra Luna Classic Price Prediction as the SEC sues Terraform Labs and Duquan. Is Lunk in trouble? Bankrupt crypto lender Celsius finds a buyer for platform to restart operations. Here's the latest Shiba Inu price prediction as Shibarium launch approaches. $1 SHIB incoming?